Hi guys, this is Luis Gamarra, and I want to say hi and give a shout out to Pulso Pop. So music begins for me when I was six years old. Uh, I, will, I will always sing in school, I will be in festivals, and it wasn't until I was 18 when I really decided to pursue this as a career. I actually won the residency lottery of the U.S that allowed me to come here and uh, follow my dreams. I left my family, I left my friends. I actually arrived to Miami and I, I had three jobs. I was working as a waiter and I was also selling clothes in, at the mall. Um, so at the beginning it was hard because it was my first time being away from my family. I was, I think, like very young and like working and studying. But thankfully um, doors started to open and I was able to be on American Idol, I was able to share with Mariah Carey, Nicki Minaj. I was able to be in La Banda and be with uh, Ricky Martin, Alejandro Sanz, Laura Pausini. Um, I also actually just graduated from uh, Berklee College of Music in Boston, which was like an incredible opportunity. So open, doors just started to open for me and I have been working very hard since then. Uh, music for me, it's a way to change the world. That's how I see it. That's that's. That's the artist I want to become. I just don't want to only entertain. I also want to, you know, say, hey, uh, be yourself, live your life, be happy. You know, I want to know for you, why is it so important to, like, kick off your music career, like, letting people know, hey, I'm openly gay and, you know, I'm embracing it and I love my sexuality. Yes. And it shows in your music videos, too. <laughs> of course. Well, you know, I think for me is that, as you said, like, artists first, they make their career, right? They play it really safe and then once they're like okay you know doesn't matter if I come out now because nothing's gonna happen for me then I can then I can say it or at least that's how it was seen right I can understand how maybe for Ricky Martin it was in different times you know and I cannot be in his shoes and or whatever he went through for me in my experience what I wanted to do was to be myself from the beginning because I want people to to see how I could be myself and be successful. You know, not be successful and then be myself. Which was very important and I think that it's like a very different message. Um, I want to be young, I want people to to know that that it's okay being whatever you want to be and that your sexuality doesn't change anything about you. Um, I come from one of the most homophobic countries in the world, Bolivia, and I recently just actually came out publicly to the whole country um, last year before I started this project and it has been hard. I mean I cannot say that hey everything is incredible you know. Um, it's definitely a process but it's a process that I'm definitely willing to do because more of just being an artist I'm a person and as a person in this world I want to make sure that people that that are living just the same experiences as me or that are about to like come and 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 have these experiences I want them to be happy I want them to I want it to be better for them you know um, living in Bolivia and now living here I can see how different uh, things are you know how different I thought of myself uh, and how proud I feel now of just being who I am so I wanted to share that message with the world okay so I want to know we got a taste of you know what your music sounds like with no siento más, no siento más, yes. Talk to us about what you are bringing, like musical style-wise, to the table. Of course. So for me, as an artist, I decided that I don't want to be an artist that just makes one genre. I want to be an artist that can reflect my music with life, and that means that each moment and each feeling has a different style, a different message, you know. Um, I think that it's cool, you know, to make m music like Por Un Beso, which is also from a real experience, and it's fun and it's up tempo. But I think that also we have times in our life where we can relate to No Siento Más, you know, when we have a breakup or the other music that is about to come. I have songs that are pop rock. I have songs that are pop, pop folk. So it's more about the message and not really like about the genre. And that's how I want um, my fans and people that listen to my music to not say, oh, 
you know, I'm just gonna, I wanna listen to urban music and then just put my whole album because that's not how my music is gonna be. My music is gonna have just different feelings, different tastes for different people. I believe you have an EP on the way or it already came out? Yes, so the EP is actually coming at the end of June. Uh, Por un beso no siento más are the two first singles. I have one more single coming before and then the whole EP is gonna come. And what is cool about it is that per each um, song there is a music video. And some music videos are as personal as like representing and recreating the moment when I told my parents that I was gay with my parents. So that's like a, something that is going to be in the album. That's something that I haven't told anybody yet. But you know, for me, it's about doing it as real as possible. And I hope that people can relate to that and see that through my music. You can find me in um, all social media with Luis Gamarra Music on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. You can just put Luis Gamarra and also watch my, my YouTube videos as Luis Gamarra.